Next assignment is cutting and splitting triangular and rectangular shapes. As we have already done with basic, instead of starting over again, we can do this trick. Choose save first to save your file basic and then choose save as. Save as this file in a different name. Just change from your id basic to your id underscore cut. This way you will not overwrite the assignment you already finished. Then look at the file name on the title bar. Then delete layer drawing. To delete a layer, drag it to a trash bin and release mouse then it will disappear. Then we need to fix the name of the assignment from basic to cut C -U -T cut. but uh, by clicking at the padlock to release this layer you can work on the layer name. Click at basic and active box will appear. Double click and now you can fix the text. When you are done with this, change to the black arrow or selection tool and lock the layer. Then go back to layer number and create a new layer. And then we will get layer 3. But what if we don't return to layer number before we create a new layer. Well, we still can get uh, the layer 3 but it will, it will appear above layer name and we don't want it this way. Name it as drawing. Name the new layer, the layer 3, as drawing because we are going to draw shapes again. Well, I want you guys to draw a circle with the ellipse tool. Create a circle on this spot. Don't forget to hold the shift key for a perfect round circle and also press the alternate to draw a circle from center okay now we have got a nice circle I want three more on the section 2, 3 and 4 the easiest way is just copy and paste select the circle and press Ctrl C to copy, paste with Ctrl V. But if we don't use our classic uh, Ctrl C and Ctrl V, we can also have another option. Select this object, hold the alternate key, and the cursor will change to a double arrow black and white. With this kind of arrow, drag a circle to create another one right away. Don't forget to hold the alternate key. Put this one here and there. Now we will align them. Select two objects, then click Window Align. Sometimes a live window has already appeared on your screen. Adjust these colors in a nice perfect line. Here we will... Okay. This is very nice line. Both in horizontal and vertical. Choose two objects at a time. Here we are going to cut we can cut it right away with a single line. Choose Segment 2 from the toolbar.
if we just draw a line, the two will give us a perfect line, but it will not parallel with the circle. So we need to hold the shift key while dragging. Why sorry, why dragging? You may notice that when you use segment tool, fill and stroke will be blank. That's because it is used to just cut things and don't create an actual line or visible line. At this moment, it still appears as a green line, but when we click somewhere else, it will disappear. In fact, in fact, this line is invisible because the stroke has no color. Drag a cursor to cover this area and you will notice a circle with a line over it. Adjust the line so that it runs across the center by clicking on the fifth icon. And now you will learn how to split a circle into half. To split, go to Pathfinder Palette, go to Pathfinder Palette, and then click the first color on the second row. This is the Divine tool. Click on it. You may not see any visible change. You need to right click the object and select ungroup if you're using CS3 but if you are using CS4 you don't have to do anything it's already um, ungrouped in CS3 when you ungrouped you will be able to split the circle but in CS4 it's already split it if you know if you don't ungroup it will go everywhere in group so you need to ungroup so that you can select the circle or part of a circle individually now we are going to delete the lower part of the circle by using just the delete key on your keyboard next we will use the scissor tool the scissor tool um, I'm not sure where it is. Different version has got different place to hide the very useful icon. So where it is in this lotion, where is the scissor tool? Well, it is underneath the eraser tool in CS3. Check it out where it is in the CS4. In CS3, it's underneath the eraser tool. When you are using the scissor tool, you have to click the scissor right onto the edge of the circle, for example. Click on the edge of the circle. You have to click the area that is going to be an in point and another click on the out point just like when you are using the normal scissor in the in the real world you have to cut in and then there is another where somewhere in the circle that is going to be the out point and now you can select the circle and delete it we cut circle number one with a line and cut number two with a scissor tool there are some differences between these two methods the one that has been cut with a line still have a full outline, while another one will lose its horizontal outline. Actually, it depends on what the result you would like to get. Next, uh, I will teach you how to cut one object with another object. In the number 3, I would like you to draw a rectangle 
and I would like you to place a narrow long rectangle over the center of the circle I would like the rectangle to be longer than the circle then go to Pathfinder oh sorry before you go to Pathfinder you have to align center the number 2 and then go to Pathfinder and click divine note that this note that this rectangle need to be a bit bigger than the circle and if you are using CS3 you have to right click and ungroup and if you don't you you, you are using the CS2 just delete the area that you don't need just delete the rectangle too uh, use just delete the rectangle and then let's try using one circle to cut another circle I will draw a new circle and don't forget to, to hold the shift key on your keyboard put it over another circle the smaller one on top of the bigger one now I will select both objects and go to Pathfinder and select Divine and if you are using the CS3 right click and ungroup and now you can delete the unwanted areas see we can easily create a more complex shape by cutting then draw a rectangle tool to create a square and don't forget to hold the shift key and the alternate key on your keyboard to expand the square from the center use line segment tool and drag a di diagonal line to create a straight 45 degree diagonal line hold the shift key do the same for another hold the shift key and draw the line then select them all by dragging a cursor over them also note that segment line will be invisible unless it gets selected to adjust go to a line and click on the second and the fifth icons the second and the fifth both lines will be adjusted to a perfect position then go to Pathfinder and Divine and then we change field color from white to black and maybe from black to white by clicking on this little icon then move them to the right and to the left with the equal distance you may need to count numbers of number of times you press direction keys on your keyboard Finally, I want you to exercise your creativity on this area number 6. You can draw any geometric shape and cut it with a line, scissor tool, or with another shape or another object. Don't forget to split them apart and change some pieces to black or white to show me the differences. You need to exercise your imagination power here.